paint. Leaves change color. Why do leaves change? And remember, some of you said that already. To understand the answer, you need to know why leaves are green in spring and summer. The green color in a leaf comes from chlorophyll. Unlike you, plants make their own food, and they use chlorophyll to do it. This green chemical traps energy from sunlight. Plants use the energy to grow. Summer days are long and bright, so leaves have plenty of light to make food. In autumn days, it gets shorter. Many plants stop making food when the daylight decreases. As days get shorter, leaves stop producing chlorophyll. The trees don't need it anymore. When the chlorophyll is gone, we can see new colors in the leaves. Those are the colors of autumn. So where do you think we're going to put that information? Ms. Anna E? Words that describe fall. We could either put words that describe fall. We could put some of that information there. What's another box we could put it in, Tony? We could also put information that we just read in Colors of Fall. And you could also, like Joshua asked earlier, you could draw a picture too. Can we draw a picture? You can. That'd be A or A. Oh, we can do both. You, or you could do both. You're right. Another name for autumn is fall. But how do leaves know when to fall? Some trees have leaves that can't survive in winter. Their branches and trunks are strong enough to live through the cold, short days ahead. But their thin green leaves are too delicate and would die in the cold. That's why trees drop them. Leaves have veins that carry fluids in and out of the leaf. As autumn days get shorter, the veins begin to close off. Fluid stops moving in and out. A layer forms at the base of each leaf where it hangs on the tree. Finally, this layer completely seals off the leaf from the tree. When the leaf is no longer connected to the living part of the tree, it can't fall. Trees that drop their leaves in autumn are called deciduous trees. What happens to all those leaves? Leaves that fall can help keep the environment healthy. As they break down, they give food to the earth and to tiny living things in the soil. Fallen leaves also act as sponges. They mix with soil to help it hold rainwater. Then we see on this picture here several different types of leaves. So, I have some leaves that I picked out myself, and I know some of you have as well. We're going to match them to categorize what type of leaves go with the type of tree. I'm going to put the book right here, and then I need your help. Can you hold this up? Can you hold this up for everyone to see? All right, so I'm going to need a thumbs up if you respectfully agree when I say the type of leaf, if it matches the pattern. I need a thumbs down if you respectfully disagree if it doesn't match. Okay, I'll turn it. Thank you for letting me know, Michelle. All right, so this ash leaf, does that match? No. no. So instead of saying no, what did I ask you to do? Thumbs down. down. Thank you. Respectfully. Okay, what about the L? Thumbs up if we respectfully agree. Thumbs down if we respectfully disagree. All right, I, that's correct. What about the horn bean? No, these don't match. Okay. The acacia, still no luck, okay, let's keep going. What about the chestnut? Still not a match, okay. The green cup? No. What about the linden? Still not that one. What about the beech? No. The birch? No. Getting warmer, but not exactly there, Diego. What about the dogwood? No. The hickory? I appreciate those of you who are following directions and using your thumbs, not your voices. What about the oak? Maple? Oh, do you see how? And I know this one's crumpled up at the top. I'm going to borrow from Edgar for a second. This one here? How it has three separate sections. 
just like this maple leaf right there. So this came from a maple tree. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with... Wait, it has a little kind of seeds on there. Yes, there's a... Yes, it's got seed on it. Uh-huh. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this one here. So can you hold it up nice and tall for everybody to see? All right, we'll do the same thing. Oh, yep. yep. Okay, so thumbs up if you respectfully agree, or thumbs down if you respectfully disagree with the ash. We have a couple thumbs up, a couple thumbs down. Now, if we look at the rest of them, could it be a horse chestnut? No. Could it be a pine? No. What about a honey locust? No. A maple seed? No. No. What about an Osage orange? Or a no. no. What about a Chinese lantern? No. no. What about an acorn? No. No. A plain tree nut? No. No. A willow? No. Maple? No. 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 Well, yeah, you're right. Thumbs down. But I already told them that it's okay to say no. So you're right, Sean. Thank you for that kind of reminder. What about a sweet gums? No. A tulip tree? No. no. A sassafras? Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. no. Yes. Hold it up, Edgar. Edgar, hold it up. I want to yes. see it. No. I don't think that matches. Do you? No. no. Okay. And what about a beach? No. 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 What, do you think it's a birch you said? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's look at it. Isn't the birch nice and big and wide like a heart? Is our leaves right here big and wide? No. no. These drops are dew. 
In autumn, nighttime temperatures can drop below the freezing point. Moisture in the air freezes into ice crystals. That's frost. And it can mean trouble for plants. When the temperature is cold enough to form frost, water inside the plant freezes too. As a result, the plant may die.